Good morning. Welcome to the morning prayer meeting. And uh, you can see there's some scripture. Luke chapter 24, um, verse 13 to 35. It's quite a long scripture, but you can listen. I can read it for you. Luke chapter 24, from verse 13 to 35. Now the same day, two of them were going to a village called uh, uh, Emmaus, about the seven miles from Jerusalem. They were talking with each other about everything that had happened, and they talked and discussed these things with, with each other. Jesus himself came up and walked along with them, but they were kept from recognizing him. He asked them, What are you discussing together as you are walking along? They stood still, their face downcast. One of them, named uh, uh, Selpas, asked him, Are you only a visitor to Jerusalem and do not know the things that have happened in uh, there in these days? What things? he asked. About the Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. He was a prophet, powerful in word and deed before God and all the people. The chief priests and our rulers handed him over to the uh, sentence to death, and they crucified him. But we had a hope that he was the one who was going to redeem Israel. And what is more, it is the third day since all this took place. In addition, some of our women amazed us. They went to the tomb early this morning, but they uh, but didn't find his body. They came and told us that they had seen a vision of angels and who said he was alive. The some of our companions went to the tomb and found it just as the woman had said, him and they did not see. He said to them, How foolish you are, and how slow of heart to believe all that the prophet have spoken. Did not the Christ have to suffer these days, these things, and then enter his glory? At the beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he explained to them what was said in all the scripture concerning himself. As they approached the village to which they were going, Jesus asked as if he were going further, but they urged him strongly, Stay with us, for it is near, nearly evening. The day is almost over. So he went it, uh, to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took the bread and gave thanks and broke it and began to give it to them. Then their eyes were open, and they recognized him, and he disappeared from their sight. They asked each other, Were not our heart burning with us while he talked with us on the road and offered the scripture to us? They got up and returned at once to Jerusalem. There they have found the eleven and dodged with them assembled together and saying, it is true, the Lord has risen, and he has appeared to Simon. Then the two told what had happened on the way, and how Jesus was recognized by them when he broke the bread. Yeah, this morning, I would share with you, open your eyes. Actually, this is, a, this is the grace of God. How can you open your eyes? Only by the helping of the Holy Spirit. Open your eyes. If you look at the verse 15 and 16, the two disciples, they working to the village called uh, Emmaus. I went to the Emmaus this year, and then the small village. It's not very far from Jerusalem. And then these people, they talked to each other, and then about what was happening, Jesus of Nazareth. But Jesus working together, and with them, but they couldn't recognize Jesus. Can you imagine? Jesus preaching and teaching and bring the healings and miracles and signs and wonders. It's an amazing things happening in, 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 in Jerusalem. But when Jesus appeared to them, no one recognized them, these two of them. And Jesus asked them, 
what are you discussing together as you're talking along? <laughs> and do you know what they say? Are oh, you a visitors? You never know what was happening in these days. It's top news in Jerusalem. And he's a prophet. He's not, he's not only prophet, he's more than a prophet. His, his word and then you know, his deed is so amazed. You don't know about him? <laughs> Can you imagine? They speak to Jesus about the Jesus. You see, some people are spiritually blind. They never ever recognize Jesus. Verse 25 and 27. And how foolish you are. How slow of heart to believe all that the prophet have spoken, you see. Already prophets, prophet and then all the you know, Old Testament speak about Jesus. Old Testament is a shadow of our Savior, of Lord Jesus Christ. And New Testament, Jesus came to this world and then he showed all these things according to the prophecy of Old Testament. In verse 26, did not the Christ have to suffer these things? And then, and to his glory. Did you know that? He will suffer. He will die for three days and he will raise up from the dead. Did you know that, these things? And then Jesus speaks to them, beginning with Moses, all the prophet. He explained to them what was said in the older scripture concerning himself. It's very important that Jesus explained to them, you know, People, they don't understand. Some people, they don't understand the, what the Bible say. Therefore, why God lays up the pastor and teachers, evangelists in these days, to teach the, his congregation, to support for his congregation uh, with the word. And Jesus explained to them. And then he said in all the scripture uh, concerning about, uh, about the Jesus, and then, yeah, they, they are spiritually blind when Jesus explained to them. And you can see the verse 13, 31. When he was at the table with them, he took bread and gave thanks and broke it and began to give it to them. Then, you see, verse 31, then their eyes were opened and they recognized Jesus and he disappeared from their sight. They never like Jesus, and suddenly Jesus disappeared. At the time, Jesus stayed in this world for 40 days. When Jesus was working in this world for 40 days, you know, he came working through the world. Yeah, sometimes the disciples, they lock the door because they're scaring the people. But Jesus come through the door. When I was working in the Brixton prison, you know, the one of the organization, the, the Christian organization, through the world, through the world. We can, you know, these uh, prisoners, they want to come out from the world, but uh, through the world. Jesus just suddenly disappeared within a second. But good news is, their eyes open. I did my prayer and um, for myself, for yourself, let God open your eyes to see Jesus, to recognize Jesus. In any circumstance, in any, 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 where, any time. In the morning, you can recognize Jesus. In the evening, you can recognize Jesus. During the day, you can recognize Jesus. They didn't recognize Jesus in the beginning when their eyes were open and they recognized Jesus. How wonderful. They recognized, oh, our Savior Jesus, Master, Rabbi. And suddenly he disappeared. He's gone. Verse 32, you can see that how I was uh, happening. Jesus explained to them. Yeah. Verse 32, they asked each other, were not our heart turning, I'm sorry, burning with us while he talked with us on the Lord and opened the scripture to us? You know, the heart is burning. When Jesus spoke to them on the, on the way to the village of uh, uh, Emmaus, and their heart was burning, so hot, so touching. 
and then I think this is an amazing, uh, amazing happening when the disciples uh, they saw Jesus, they recognized that, and then then opened the scripture to us. When Jesus spoke to them, their heart was burning. You know, my prayer when when I preach the gospel, when I share the God gospel of Lord Jesus, let the word of God touch your heart and burn your heart, and even you receive the Holy Spirit. One of my favorite scripture. This is my prayer. Acts chapter ten, verse forty-four. Peter. Acts chapter ten, verse forty-four. While Peter was still pre- speaking this word, Peter preached the gospel. Do you know what was happening? The Holy Spirit came on all who heard the message. I love it. <laughs> Peter is like the same man like you and me. But when Peter preaching. Anybody hear the gospel from Peter, they receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Everybody receive the Holy Spirit. This is my prayer. When I preaching, when I share the goodness of Lord Jesus, let God open the door, and then Holy Spirit come upon them. Like、uh, Jesus, Jesus share the, you know, gospel. I mean, Jesus explain to them, and disciples their heart is burning, their eyes open, their eyes open. It's wonderful. You know, in the beginning, they couldn't recognize it. They saw Jesus. They saw Jesus, but they don't recognize.、Him. Many people they saw the wonders and, and grace of God, powerful act of God, but they don't recognize.、Him. They only say, "Oh, it's coincidence. It's just lucky." No, it's divine appointment, divine grace of God. You can see these things. But look at the John chapter twenty-one. If you look at the John chapter twenty-one, verse four to seven, disciples, eleven of them, they don't recognize Jesus.、Mm-hmm. And、um, verse four to seven, early in the morning, Jesus stood on the shore, but the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. He called out to them, "Friend, haven't you any fish?" No, they answered. He said, "Throw your net on the right side of your boat, and you will find some." When they did, they were unable to hold that in because of the large number of fish. Then the disciple whom Jesus loved, who is this man? Apostle John. John said to Peter, "It is the Lord." And as soon as Simon Peter heard him say, "It is the Lord," he wrapped his outer garment around him, for he had taken love, and jumped into the water. You see. Actually, around eight people went to Galilee, <coughs> and then fishing, but they couldn't catch any fish. <laughs> but Jesus stood the, near the side, the shore, and he asked them, "Friend, haven't you any fish?" But none of them recognized Jesus. None of them. But when, actually, when Jesus died on the cross, just day before died on the cross, and they, he had the last supper with the disciples. So who is the one to leaning on the chest of Jesus, John? John, you can hear the 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 heart beating, the sound. Can you imagine? You can hear that kind of relationship. You see, that is why when Jesus speak to all the disciples, one of you guys betrayed me. And then Peter say to John, John, can you ask Jesus who who will do it?、Mm. Peter couldn't ask Jesus directly. Why? Because John is most close to Jesus. Yeah. If you, you know, you know, some of our members are so close to me, and then some of some of our members they don't know me、uh, very well. They ask some of my friends, our members, ask the Pastor Paul for these things. Can you ask? Why? Because they are so close to me, close relationship. Same thing. This man. Apostle John, he is the one to recognize Jesus. Oh, he is the Lord. And why this Peter? He jumped into the water. He was a little bit guilty. <laughs> For three and a half years, he spent time with Jesus, but denied Jesus three times. And he went to, you know, he say, you know,、uh, he is the one. Verse three. I am going out to fish. Simon Peter told them. They say, we will go with you. So they went out and go into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. Peter, he's the one. He's a leader. 
Okay, our master died. Now I need to go back to my old job. I go back to the Galilee. I will be a fisherman again. They say, six, so in total, actually, seven of them will follow you. You see, Peter, he already disappointed about uh, his master, Savior, Jesus. For he, he, he may thought, oh, I waste my, my time for three and a half years. Three and a half years, if I'm working very hard, I think I, I, I may bought the another boat, another ship, you know, fishing ship, fishing boat. But uh, I didn't you know, spend time with uh, Rabbi Jesus. Uh, I need to go for, I'm going out to fish and decide to follow him. But suddenly Jesus asked them, friend, have you any fish? And then Peter, there's so many kind of thought in his heart. Little bit shame, little bit, you know, guilty, and little bit exciting, <laughs> and then all kind of mix in his heart, and then he don't try to suicide eh? when he jump into the water. Do you think he try suicide? No, no, he just uh, little bit embarrassed, and he jump into the water. But thanks be to God, and Jesus prepared the food, and Jesus say to them. And verse 9, when they landed, they saw a fire burning and coals there with a fish on it and some bread. Jesus prepared a breakfast for disciples. And he said to them, bring some of the fish you have just caught. It's not wonderful. And if you look at the John chapter 21, verse 12, it's very interesting. Jesus said to them, come and have a breakfast. I think it's uh, when people they have uh, eating together, the heart is open, like these two disciples in the uh, the way to the village of uh, Emmaus. They eating together, and then the eyes open and recognize Jesus again. It's twelve. Come and have a breakfast. None of the disciples they ask him, "Who are you?" <laughs> they knew it was the Lord. They knew it was the Lord. Nobody asked Jesus, oh, are you a Lord Jesus? No, no, they knew. My prayer, let God help you to recognize Jesus. Don't tell me, oh, Jesus Christ was working very powerfully 2,000 years ago, but not now. No, still, Jesus Christ, same yesterday, today, and forever. Same Jesus still working for you and me. Now, today, yeah, he is still working for you and me. Therefore, my prayer, Father, God, open my eyes, open my spiritual eyes to see and recognize and serve God. Mm. Can you look at the uh, Revelation chapter 3? Revelation chapter 3, verse 17 to 19. Revelation chapter 3, 17 to 19. There's uh, seven churches in, the, in the, uh, the, uh, Asia. Seven churches of Asia. Last church is Laodicea. Laodicea church and then Lviv. From verse 17 to 19. You say, I am rich. I have acquired wealth and do not need a thing. But you do not realize that you are wretched and pitiful, poor, blind and naked. I counsel you to buy from me gold defiled in the fire. So yeah, you can become rich, and white cloth to wear, so you can cover your shameful nakedness, and slave to put on your eyes. Sorry, self, self, self to put your uh, eyes on, and so you can see. <coughs> Though you I love, I rebuke, and discipline, so earnestly, uh, uh, earnest and repent. Do you know what Jesus saying? Actually, Laodicea Church is a very rich church. They actually there is a many the ENT hospital, eye hospital in in there, mm -hmm. because they they made uh, some medicine for eyes in that area. Also, there is a very economic area, and then full of fruit also in there. Therefore, Laodicean Church is a <laughs> richest church among the, any six <laughs> other church. So rich. There is a, we are rich. We don't need anything. But do you know what Jesus said? You are wretched and pitiful and poor. 
Don't say to me, you are rich. You are so poor, spiritually poor, even blind and naked. Therefore, you need to buy some medicine to heal your eyes. And then you need to buy the white linen to cover your shameful nakedness. Jesus said, three areas. You know, you are poor, you are naked, you are blind, you love the church. That kind of message. But especially I want to focus about the eyes. Buy some medicine to put your, on your eyes and you can see. What kind of medicine? And verse 19 says, earnestly, you have to do the things of the law and repent, repent. Yeah. You open your eyes to see the on, on, on the things of the world, but you never see the things of God. That is your main problem. Do you know we have the eyes to see? You know the BBC news, or CNN news. You can see everybody see by your own eye, our eyes. But can you see the what is the message even news? Can you see? Can you recognize what Jesus want to say to? The, the worldly, the happening. You know, Matthew chapter 24, Jesus said, in the last day you can see the famines and earthquake. What kind of famine? When the virus come, like the coronavirus, people, they're hungry. Famine, this famine. And this is many, many phone calls and text message and email from all over the world ask for help. Do you know, I'm not banking manager. <laughs> Do you know, they thought this, I'm the one to help everybody. No, God is my Lord and my God is supporting for that. I just pray for that. You know, one of our, you know, branch church in Uganda, they have the over 100, 1,000 children. During the coronavirus, you know, how many meals they eat? They have the one meal in three days. One meal in three days. These children are starving and hungry because of this coronavirus. All... You know, church is locked down and uh, they cannot meet together. It's this happening. Not only Africa, every, every country. But what is the message of Jesus? You can hear, we can see by news. But you have to understand beyond this news what God wants to say to us. And then this Laodicean church, they are blind. They don't know. <laughs> That is what Jesus, by the medicine. You sell the medicine in your area. In, you know, many members, they go to the Laodicean church. They give the tithe and offering. The church is so rich. They have everything. That is why I say, you know, oh, oh I am rich. I have, uh, you know, wealth. I do not need a thing. We have everything, they say. But Jesus, no, you are so poor. You are blind. You are naked. Totally opposite way. And Jesus, live Actually, the Bible says, Jesus, I love, I live it. Jesus loved the Laodicea church. That is why he live it and then disappear. And then you have to earnest and then earnest and repent, repent. I believe that um, God wants to open our eyes uh, to see the uh, hands of God, to recognize Jesus in any circumstance. How? Asking the Lord, heal my eyes. My eyes is a, is a, my eyes view is a worldly view. It's like the worldly people. But can you have the, the, the view of Jesus? Can you have the eyes of Jesus to see the things happening in your life with the eyes of God? When you look at this world with the eyes of God, it's different. Everybody look at the situation with a worldly view. You know, worldly view. But we have to have the, you know, godly view. What God wants to say to this situation. Yeah, I think this message this morning, and if you, I think these days God asked me to pray for eyes. You know, I used to have the bad eyesight a long time ago. And then I pray for healing, and then I don't use no glass over 30 years now. Thanks be to God what he has done for me. When I look at the Bible, when I become a born again, Jesus healed the blind man. And then I ask the Lord, I'm not a blind man, but uh, my eyesight is very bad. Can you heal me? It's, um, this prayer is more easy than to pray for a blind man. And I ask God, and then I touch my eyes, and God gave me good eyesight. 
I went to the eye hospital I did two years ago in South Korea, and then they checked my eyes. They say, oh, you don't need a glass. <laughs> and praise God. Did not God heal me? I don't use the glass for 30 years. And uh, because of uh, he healed me. If anybody uses use this uh, glass, you can touch your eyes. I can pray for you, give you good eyesight. But not only this prayer. This morning I want to pray for your eyes. You need to open. Open your spiritual eyes to see and recognize Jesus. To see the hands of God. To see the, how the Spirit of God is moving. Do you understand? Let's pray. Father, I pray for... You can touch your eyes. I can pray. Lord, I pray for my eyes also. I want to open my spiritual eyes to see the things of the Lord. To see the hands of God. To see the uh, Jesus himself. I want to recognize Jesus. Disciples, they don't recognize Jesus in the beginning. But when Jesus talked to them and they're eating together and Jesus explained to them and all their eyes open. Lord Jesus, help us to open our eyes to see Jesus. Recognize Jesus in our life. Father, we know that Jesus already spoke to us what, what, what's going to happen in the last day. We saw this happening, fulfilled uh, his prophecy now. Therefore, we recognize that Jesus will come back very, very soon. And we can see Jesus every day with our spiritual eyes. Lord Jesus, give us your eyes to see this world with your eyes. We love to see this world with your eyes. Not these worldly eyes. Lord, help us. Heal our, our, our eyes. And we repent our sins. Forgive all our sins. Cleanse our eyes by the blood of Lord Jesus. Purify our heart, our mind, our eyes, our body by your blood of Jesus. We love you. We pray. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye now.